Na na nyamia kwa mpili ye chile wanza na enonza. Asa se ya wanza he. Na na mwani abusu imoni nzi yobo ya mape ya ube ya. Wani ye biyala boyo wa emonza he. Ena njira mwai. Abusu ya ni mai ya tindenvei. Chen yo leche. Ema maya chedi ya nyimini nyimini bie. Bwene ye ba yi ye chile mo. Na ye tuiduma. Yao. Hey, me ne that we sing to give thanks to Chedi Ampong and the girls for blessing us with their baby. In Seshi culture, naming ceremony is a sacred event where we celebrate to welcome the arrival of a new life. Do you know that newborns are kept indoors for the first seven days? Oh yes, this is done to ensure whether the child has come to stay with us rather than returning back to the ancestors. On the eighth day, if the child still remains strong, a name is given in a ceremony held at the father's family house. Uh -huh. Both the mother and the child dressed white in a sacred bead are brought by two elders to the ceremony. The elder chosen to lead this rite is carefully selected based on their high moral standard and good characters, rectifying or reflecting, I mean, the good morals and virtues which the family wishes to pass on unto the child. And to the mother, this elder begins by pouring libation and also uplifts the child to the sky and the community, signifying blessings and also the community's shared responsibility in the upbringing of the child, just as I did. Uh huh. In a symbolic act of truthfulness, the elder uses water and wine to instill honesty into the child for further blessings. Gifts are then received by also giving to the child, either by tying at the hands or the legs, for further again blessings. The child, I mean the elder, also kisses the child, either by the lip, for signifying the transfer of good wills and blessings for future blessings. Oh yes, this ceremony is not just a celebration, but also a vital tradition which passes down cultural heritage and again provides powerful blessings unto the child. It also brings amongst unity, love, acknowledgement amongst the family. Say any mama mre, na mamre wohe, yan tutona sintino. Say ene ye ya bedinto, e wo mikro. Na ne nya mye pilie, ye ya hini ya fa imbai, ya besika ya do, na ne nya mye pilie, ye ya hini ya fa imbai, ya besika ya do. Good job, Masi, thank you. 
Nana from the Western North region showing us how naming ceremonies are done in the Western North region. Now, let me go over to Jigodi. Jigodi, what are your comments? Hello, Nana. Hi, Hans Jigodi. It was good to see you um, performing. Thank this, you. Um, so, a few things. The number one thing, obvious thing that came up is when you started, I think you presented the whole ceremony in tree and then you interpreted the whole ceremony in English. Yes. Uh, normally during the performance, I think if you watch what we're looking for, number one thing I would have seen is the excitement of the performance, which usually comes from variation. Okay. Meaning that first you introduce what you're going to do okay. as an opening and then you engage and then you introduce and then you engage. So the variation create makes the performance exciting. Okay. So what it was, it seemed like a monotone. Like you told us a story in uh, the local language and then you told us another story. It was a great story. I mean, it was, it was a very great moment and it's, it's very steeped in tradition, which is what we wanted to learn. So I did learn from it. Thank I did you. get the information from Thank it. Thank you. What I was looking for was one, you know, the actual variation of the performance, the vocal variation, the story variation. So I think that is what made the content seem monotone. Next time when you have the opportunity, make sure that you create variation in your performance. That's, that's for me. But I loved the fact that you were confident, especially when you were doing the local presentation. I also Thank wanted you. to see a little bit of dance because I think tonight, I mean, there was music I saw a little bit of dance where they were going, but for a celebration of a child's birth, you want to see a little bit more like energy, but all the same, you did a great job. Thank well you. done. All right, moving on to Nanajwa Window. Were you impressed? Um, yes, I was. Um, amazing. Preparing for these um, ceremonies is not easy. So to be able to come out with such performance, it's, it's great. Thank and you. so, I uh, congratulations, Nana. Thank you. Um, obviously, uh, a few things from my side, not to repeat. The achedie you picked, um, it's supposed to be the last thing you take yes, please. in the process. Yes, please. You took it in the middle of it before you said, in sionyo, in senyo. Yes, please. Uh-huh. And don't you say, ube di no cray. But you picked, you picked the achedia in between time. So please check. The sequence is very important. Okay. And so I also noticed that you mentioned that the elder kiss, elder doesn't kiss. Olden days, they used to spit in the child's yes, mouth. Please. That is like a transfer. Yes, but culture is dynamic. We are all looking at all these issues and sicknesses and stuff. So transferring spectrum is not the right thing to do now. Okay. But there's a way you say okay. Then we learn from it. Okay. Do you understand? Thank so you. we are not going away from the culture of transferring, you know, my power to you and expecting that because you've been named after me, you should take to my character and my greatness. You get it? Yes, please. So you explain so that people who don't know get to understand it. Thank you. You're welcome. 